light at the stop sign. Yes. Then turn left. Thank you, dear. Um, <clears throat> I'm finally on the road to uh, Cougar, Washington after a few errands that I ran this morning. Um, we're still in day one of my my videos. I'm still shooting sequences. Turn left at the traffic light. Okay. Uh, she's helping me get there, you know, my companion. One thing I haven't shared with people on my YouTube channel is my my uh, eating uh, uh, protocol. My, my Two and a quarter miles. Turn left on North 45th Street. Okay, okay. My eating protocol. I, uh, I've been practicing this uh, eating strategy called intermittent fasting, uh, where I only eat within an eight-hour window during the day, and I fast for 16 hours. I did that intentionally to lose some weight and to uh, improve my... Uh, my numbers on my blood work. You know, I was getting a little bit high at my body mass index, believe it or not. I've never had a, a really serious weight problem, but but for my size, uh, I was starting to get up there. So I've been practicing this uh, from uh, since June, the middle of June up until now. And I've lost 20 pounds. Uh, it's made hiking a lot easier, so that's why I'm able to do this mountain climbing stuff. It's it's uh, just much more enjoyable if you're not hauling extra weight up a mountain. Okay, so what I do is I fast most of the you know for most of the day. I don't eat breakfast or lunch. Um, you can look up inter um, intermittent fasting if you're interested in that sort of thing and study up on it. I decided to have my eating window in the evenings because that's when I'm sociable with people. Um, now, having said that I'm on a diet, I mean uh, on this fasting diet, sometimes on weekends I will get myself a Breve Mocha in the morning, which is my favorite drink, by the way. Uh, that's the only way to have a mocha is with the breve, you know, try it. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just kind of my special treat to myself. If I'm doing something like this, uh, climbing a mountain, I don't mind packing up some triglycerides in my bloodstream when I'm going to do something like climb a mountain because I'm really exerting myself and I, it's okay to have a little bit extra on board when you're doing that. So in two and a quarter miles, keep right to Elliott Avenue West. She's so good, you know, she helps me out. Boy, I tell you, we are going to be blessed with good weather for this, this climb. I can't believe how the weather's turning out. It's, it's just a clear day. And if it holds up like this, it's going to be a killer view from the top of Mount St. Helens tomorrow. It's just going to be amazing. <laughs> that is, if we actually get to the top, we'll see. Now I'm still slogging my way through Seattle. I guess I, I picked a, one of the slow routes out of town. Uh, have all day to get down there. In one quarter mile, take the ramp on the right to Washington 99 South. I don't know how I timed that, when, when, just right when she talks, you know. <laughs> I don't know how that works out. She's always competing with me. I kind of like taking this. In one uh, and a quarter miles, take the ramp on the right toward I 5 South. There she goes again. Every time I start to talk, she talks at the same time. Uh, I like taking this route because this route is not going to be here forever. They're going to tear down this bridge eventually. This is the old Alaskan Way Viaduct here in Seattle. It's kind of been a, kind of a Seattle landmark. Um, you walk, you come right by the waterfront here. It's going to be weird to see this gone someday. It's just going to change. It's going to change the character of it a little bit around here. But it's an old rickety bridge. I mean, if we have a major earthquake, this thing's coming down. So I always think about that every time I cross this bridge. Take the ramp on the right toward 
I-5 South.